Hi, Mike. Thanks for coming by. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. Mike is the barista of Cafe Arte in Tepoztlan, Morelos, Mexico. Mm -hmm. So we're going to learn all about Mike and his cafe. It's a beautiful, intimate space right in the center of town. <laughs> so, Mike, tell me, uh, where are you from and how did you get, wind up in Tepoztlan? I'm originally from Las Vegas, mm -hmm. uh, born and raised over 24 years there. Found a guy online uh, doing a cryptocurrency uh, marketplace and was very interested. So I decided to contact him after seeing a video about him and wanted to get more into cryptocurrency always since I've been into it and maybe work at a company with someone. So I decided to contact him. So I did so. He was not only looking for people to work for him, but also looking for investments. I decided to invest the little money I had at my, my day job that I was working at a restaurant. Invested in him. He said he was going to move down into Acapulco uh -huh. and start an office. Uh -huh. So I decided to take that opportunity to uh, go live and work with him. Um, and now I'm starting off by going to a conference called Anarchapulco. It was going to be our first uh, place we were going to set up and work. Things were good for about a month. Uh, life was good there, you know, got to experience Mexico and no more money was uh, there. No work was ever really done. Um, and I really got stuck with him. And so then I started basically my whole life over from a bag of clothes, two bags of clothes and a hammock. Uh, I had no kitchen countertops, no refrigerator, no stove. Well, very basic rustic living. Yeah. Very. I yeah. basically was in a hammock. <laughs> uh -huh. So thankfully I had met a woman in Acapulco named Claudia and we had hit it off really well. And I had asked her if she had any work for me and she said yes. Um, you could work with my aunt and drive her around during the day for $100 a week. So, uh -huh. so I took that opportunity. Um, and that was the little bit of money I had to get by and buy a bed and, you know, a kitchen and yeah. slowly but surely I got on my feet and then the pandemic happened and basically started back at zero again. And at that point in time when there was nothing but, uh, time, I had an idea and being in cryptocurrency for a while, I had wanted to start my own thing and had this idea to start a cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, started putting together a website and throwing together some ideas. Had a meeting with some people and someone in that meeting that I'd never met before uh, really liked the idea and he said, actually, I want to invest in you. Uh, so I did so, or he did so. Um, took that initial money, money to uh, pay a professional uh, programmer to do blockchain work. Uh, build a website professionally mm -hmm. because my skills were not very good at that time and uh, for the initial marketing. So how did you get to Temple Salon? Three years of living in Acapulco, things were getting uh, a little too hot and steamy for me in the uh, hot Acapulco. Oh uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, so I decided uh, and me and my girlfriend decided that it was time to break away from Acapulco and find better better weather. And we had visited Teposlan a year before we actually had came here and really loved it. And one day I was walking down the street, seeing this very small uh, business that was empty, nothing in it. And I was like, I would love to start a coffee shop there. <laughs> After seeing that place many times empty, one day I was walking by and the owners were cleaning it out. And I said, is this place available? And they said, yes. So we took that opportunity to buy some furniture, buy a coffee machine, and Great. and really design the place, I think, rather nice and set up a nice little coffee shop here in Temple Salon. And how did you, uh, what would you say is your mission for that place or your vision? My mission or my vision uh, was really just to provide a high quality service in excellent coffee. You know, I, I think Temple Salon has a, a lot of small coffee shops. Yes. And maybe I would say some are lacking in the quality department. And I wanted to change that and uh, it provides an excellent service as well. We found a coffee that we really loved and fell in love with it and fell in love with the roaster. And it's a single origin that comes from Veracruz. Nice. Here in Mexico. And I think we found a winner. Your whole 
whole place is geared toward promoting art, right? Isn't that part of your vision? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'd seen a place in Vegas that was doing something similar of renting spaces to local artisans, and I wanted to bring that vibe here to Temple Salon, which I hadn't seen before. People like doing commission. I, I don't like that concept. I think uh, I want people to rent a small space for very cheap, and they have their own mini local uh, at our place, essentially. Nice. Mm -hmm. And what's your uh, vision for the future for either you and Claudia and our Cafe Arte? I mean, really, I would possibly like maybe even move in the future. Maybe we get it somewhere with the kitchen and we can provide maybe a, a little bit of food that isn't here in Temple Salon already. Lots mm -hmm. of great food here in Temple's, but maybe something on the more breakfast and brunch side that people aren't doing yet. So I think that's where we might do next even though I love our little space we have now, so. I'm already hungry for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks a lot for stopping by and letting me interview you, Mike. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity, and uh, I hope to see you guys in Tepo Salon. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Here we are in Cafe Arte. Yeah. There's Claudia. Hi.